Um, so film fanatic says Star Wars theory send me to seek your counsel, my master. <laughs> Welcome, my Padawan. <laughs> How may I be of assistance to you? <laughs> Do not underestimate the power of the dark force. <laughs> the dark side, I guess. All right, uh, Phil Fanatic, uh, you're more than welcome to uh, pose a question and I'll be more than happy to respond to. I'm glad that you could find us and delighted that you're here. So, um, Let's see. Aha, uh -huh, there it is. Film Fanatic says, my current relationship is broken. Your current relationship is broken. So you're going through a um, breakup, right? All right. Why don't I, before I answer this question, why don't I start the new um, session on the good camera so if you guys give me one moment, I'll just shut it off and turn it back on, and that will be it. There we go. That works perfectly well. We ended it on the right time, and uh, we're back on that. Let's see if I can, well, I guess that's good enough. All right, so let's go back to Film Fanatic. It says, my current relationship is broken. It's hard to move on after so much investment but feels like it is the right thing to do I just do not know how to do it or if it is the right choice to make all right number one film fanatic we have a protocol here and the protocol is a little bit information that could help me to know a little bit about you and that is only in three codes small things one is if you're male or female Second, how old you are. And third, where you're tuning in from. In other words, the country, the age, and the gender. That'll give me a little bit of a background about who you are, so what kind of a uh, delivery I should have, what kind of a culture information I can get from, you know, where you come from. And at the same time, uh, the age will tell me a little bit and how to deliver what I want to share with you. And also, um, if you're, you know, man or woman or whatever your gender is, that will also help me out to uh, to tailor make the response. So, if you don't mind, please um, uh, throw that in, and uh, then I will. Oh, there it is. Male, 26, Florida. Six-year relationship. All right. And how old is she? Or was she? Or is she? Well, she is. How old is she? 27. All right, six years, so you were 20 and she was 21. All right, there's lots of things here. Number one, when this session finishes, uh, you need a lot more information about what you're going through. And you can find that on my YouTube channel, which is this channel. Either you can just write in the search engine of my channel how you feel, what it is that you're looking for, um, like jealousy or um, she's going out with somebody else, uh, what makes, how, make, how that makes you feel, or how to move on, or things like that, singular things, singular videos. Or you can go on the uh, playlists and you can see playlists of how to move on. And um, the recent um, uh, uploads have also been there was one in particular that says why you can't move on. It's in three parts, why you can't move on. That's also good. And the other one is watch this if you want to move on. Uh, these are titles that I can remember from top of my head. But if you go on the playlist and check out different uh, topics that we have there, you will get tremendous amount of help and support and knowledge about yourself, your own psyche, how you take what you're all about, why you feel the way you do, to understand it better, and you will be perfectly fine to move on. But having said that, let me um, address some of it here. You may or may not have noticed it, but when you were 20 years old and she was 21, 
But to begin with, it was a little bit of a, that was an okay uh, circumstance there because 20 and 21, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. While girls usually at 21 are more mature or have a way different way of thinking than a 21 year old boy. So to begin with, she seemed to be more mature than you, possibly, I may be wrong, uh, could be anomalies, which would, that would have impressed you a lot more about her because it would make you feel like she knows a lot or she's uh, the leader of the two of you. You're at age 20 and girls are so important to a heterosexual male, so you were just you know, head over heel in love with her because you were having sex and you were having a girlfriend and the girlfriend happened to be a little bit older so you felt good about yourself that you were able to, you know, um, kind of, uh, you know, uh, get an older woman, to, so to speak. So at that age, you felt more mature because an older woman, an older girl is just even though a little bit, is paying attention to you, which made you feel good about yourself. At that age, we all wanted to be older. Uh, when we get older, we want to look younger and be younger. But so that's how it was. So for you, she had a very special place in that relationship. She had a kind of a leadership role, possibly. Again, I don't know enough about her and you, so I'm just spitballing here. Hopefully, I'll hit the target. And so the impression you had from her was, oh, she's a catch. She's older than you, you had sex with her, and at that time, having a girlfriend, and it was so important. And women are very important to, for us, to us. But in hindsight, when you look at it, when you get 26 and she's 27, then she didn't mind because the age difference wasn't much and she was very young herself. But now at this age, there's nothing wrong with you. But her shortcomings will show itself at this age because she's now looking for someone who's like four or five or six years older than her so she can feel younger. Because the time, as the time passes by, she'll always be one year older and she won't feel confident she will feel a little bit inferior in her own mind, not in your mind. She doesn't know about that. She doesn't care about that. She's thinking about how she feels. So right now she's looking for something like three, four, five years older because the older woman gets, even though if they're career woman, they would like to have things a little bit easier for them so they don't have to work much because eventually they might want to have children. So she's looking for some kind of a security. And she thinks perhaps that can be found in maybe a 30, 35 year old man to make her life easier. So at this point, she's not focused on the relationship that you guys are having or had. She's focused on what she can do for herself because she can see herself getting to an age or certain stage of life that she wants different things than she did when she was 21 or when you guys were together. Now, the rest of the stuff, I don't know. I don't know what she do, what she does, what her plans are, what's been going on. All of that, of course, I need a little bit of uh, info. So in other words, uh, throw me the bone and <laughs> give me the info. <laughs> Which, in that case, it I would be more than happy to discuss this further with you on Skype. If you go on my site, mindthatseekstruth.com and click on talk to me around via Skype then you can make an appointment and these days I have a special offering if you make a half an hour appointment I'll give you one hour and if you get a one hour appointment I'll give you two hours so that'll be plenty to start and see where it goes and how we can deal with certain specific things that you might have in mind and your case could be different than um, some of the videos that could hone on to it and help you out now, a little bit of a help for you until then, if should you decide to talk to me on Skype or not, at least let me be helpful here a little bit more. In order to be successful to move on to your balance and happy place again, um, you need to focus on your life. 
you need to see her for who she is now. The problem for moving on for most people is that when the breakup happens, they keep thinking about her, the ex, her, him, whatever their relationship is, um, they keep thinking about her. But I talk about one kind of relationship, so you guys switch it around depending on what uh, relationship uh, you guys uh, are having, the ones who are listening. So the problem at the breakup is that y you keep thinking about her as she used to be when you guys were lovey-dovey. In other words, you don't see her as she is today. You perceive her. You're looking at her. Because she looks the same as she did then, you are confused to focus on who she has become. Instead, you say, oh, that's the girl I used to know, and she used to be like that. So you totally forgo the fact that she's a different entity now. Because who you are is not by how you look. Who you are is based on how your consciousness has been conditioned uh, through your years of, uh, you know, um, growing up. Uh, your relation, your uh, nationality, your uh, religion, your uh, dogmas and the society rules and your, how your parents taught you what they did, the teachers, what you read, what movies you watched. And all these have to do with who you have become, what your center is. That is you. But that is not visible from outside. From outside, only your physical shape is visible. And when you look at your girlfriend, when you guys are broken up, you hardly see the changes that she has made and who she really is today. You just connect what she looks like to how she used to behave and how she used to be and how she used to reciprocate and interact with you. So you miss the fact to see who she is now. Because if you do see her for who she is today, you might see the problems that, for God's sake, why am I so interested in her? She's not the kind of girl that I used to like, which was her. But she's not doing the, those things as she did before. She's not her. She looks like her, and I keep thinking about her as she used to be, but she's not how she used to be. And I used to love her and like her for how she used to be, but she's not like that anymore. So why do I miss her? You miss her because you remember how you felt. And you're missing how you felt. And you feel if I can have her back, then I would feel happy and how I felt again. So in fact, you're really missing yourself and you want her back so you can regain yourself. Plus, when you guys were together for six years, you created a certain things that you were doing together, certain elements, certain activities, whether it was getting up in the morning and texting each other, or if you lived together, um, having your tea or coffee or breakfast at a certain time or certain way, certain routine, and then go to your school or go to your work, and then hang out somewhere or meet somewhere or meet certain friends or certain activities or gym or this and that. All these things that you used to do is called mechanical processes. Through these mechanical processes, the things that you guys were doing together, you would create a routine, a certain way of doing things. And that certain way of doing things is called the order. So you had an order in your life with her. And because you had an order, your mind seeks and finds searches for order because in the order of things, in the order of life, the mind finds security. That's the mind's security place is, in the order of things, in how things are. Now, when she leaves, when you guys break up, that order, the way you guys were doing things, breaks down. You guys no longer doing all those mechanical processes or those things, therefore the order breaks down. When the order has broken down, the mind can't find its security anymore because there is no order, there is no routine of things. And it feels confused and feels agitated. That's what you're feeling now. So you're not really missing her necessarily, you're missing the order of things, how things were. And if you focus on your life and try to build your life the way you had planned and continue on that focus, you will create a new order by doing new things 
new mechanical process, new stuff that you would do during the day from the moment you wake up to the time that you sleep. And those things will create a new routine, new order. And that routine and order would be a place for your mind to find its security, which then you will feel fine with the new conditioning, new order, and the whole new things happening, and you will not be missing the old order anymore, and you will be finding your balance again. In a nutshell is focus on your job. Don't let your job or whatever it is that you do suffer because these things will pass. The new order will be created and you'll be fine. But in the meantime, you should not allow your job and things that brings food on the table suffer and you lose that because those opportunities may not easily be fixed or replaced later on. I think that should be good enough for you since you come from the Star Wars community, that was a special deal for you. <laughs> we treated it like a one-on-one. -on -one. So hope you enjoyed um, uh, the discussion that we shared and I thank you for being here and please continue and hopefully you've subscribed <laughs> and share the videos uh, that you like on the um, library that we have on the channel with the people with on your social media and help us to grow because we're still unfound. We have over 1,500 videos on this channel and we hardly are visible. So who knows what the future holds. All right.